Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And uh, if you noticed, I have no lives left uh, after that. But I believe if we go here... Does it restore our lives? No. How do we restore our lives? I... I might have to go grinding for lives. So to do that... Oh, we don't have a ton of uh, places. Think I want to go to the disposal center? Maybe I do. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go back to that factory area. Or I'll find some place where I can grind for lives, and I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, I didn't find a life grinding spot yet, but I did find this. Uh, if we go back to uh, the underground facility, basically the intro stage, remember the facility that caved in, uh, we're treated to this thing that I can't get up. But I can still break that. Hooray for the sword splash. I don't care if I get that or not. You should be able to make that jump, but it, it's fairly precise. Okay, here's something else I found. Uh, Seravu has created a new weapon for us, but he hasn't named it yet. But he's going to name it now, and it's the Shield Boomerang. And this was a fairly uh, popular weapon. In fact, they bring it back in later Mega Man uh, Zero games. And there's like one or two instances in the whole series that I've actually used it. It is fairly useful as a uh, shield, but you have to fully charge it uh, before you can throw it and do any damage. Uh, so it's it takes practice, and why bother practicing when you have a saber and a buster that can just slaughter everything? Oh, hi there. Okay, I'm going to try and get back to that factory and uh, grind there for some uh, one-ups. Let me start that over. Okay, so if we explore the subway path and come back to here, uh, just past the boss gate, we can go through this door uh, where there's some energy casters and also a cyber elf. And this takes us... Oh, this takes us to the uh, bottom part of the last mission where uh, we died. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what's up this way. Well, there's a door here. Oh, hey, a trans server. Uh, so apparently we have to find these to activate them. I found one at the entrance to the desert. Um, so that gives us one here now that we can use since we found it. And this is the factory. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Alright, let's pick up some one-ups. Oh, there's not a one up there. That's not good. Oh, 
all the enemies that were here have turned into uh, energy crystals. We'll take those. And there's people uh, to talk to. Oh, and uh, those things have stopped shocking us. That that makes this area significantly easier. Those are energy crystals. Not trying to get energy crystals. Those are energy crystals. And tons of energy crystals. Can I get some... One-ups, maybe? One-ups would be really nice. Oh, I guess these things are still on. And this is where the boss was. Oh. That was really nice. Oh, there's a hidden... <laughs> I said you couldn't climb on this part of the wall. I guess that was partially true, but... Uh, hidden Cyber Elf. Although I'd rather pick it up at this point than uh, trying to go through and and then have to go back through with all the hassle during the mission. Alright, we'll go through this place and pick up, well, even more energy crystals. Can I turn energy crystals into extra lives? I don't know, but I guess that's all for the factory place. No one-ups to be found. Maybe this game just doesn't like you restoring your lives. Which, that's going to make the rest of this playthrough interesting? I don't know if that's the right word for it. Alright, and if we go out here, we're out to this area, which still has some enemies. But it's not nearly at the level that it was at uh, the last time we were through here. if there's anything below that pillar. Which, who knows, there might have been. <laughs> we failed a mission. Even though we technically weren't on the mission. Okay, I guess I'm going to recollect all that stuff and try and stack up on 1-ups, and I'll see you guys in the next part.